Okay, so today we look at step four and step five, day four and day five. And what you should have by now is like, a, you should have reference points. And by that I mean, you have sort of connected the dots. Each symbol, each description, each image has some sort of description next to it or connector. And by that I mean, you're able to relate each symbol, description, image in your dream, in this, in, in each dream, to something specific either in your real life or specific to a, spe a, a particular emotion or feeling or image in your mind. And what this does is it allows you to have sort of like, um, like I say, a reference point or a resource so that if such images or, uh, or uh, symbols appear in any of your other dreams, you have some sort of reference point. You can go back and say, well, that color mean, meant that in that dream. Well, that, that color mean, makes me feel a certain way. And that symbol that appeared or that, um, uh, that image that appeared in that other dream made me remember this or feel a certain way. So that is what you're, you've built. But one thing you need to know is that my approach and my ex in my experience is that even if the symbols reappear in other dreams, it doesn't, it, they do not necessarily hold the same meaning. So John just assume that, oh, because the other dream had the same symbols, that's a continuation of it. No, you have to go back to this new, to the new dream and see if those same images feel the same way or if, 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 if they, 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 they resonate with you as they resonated with you in the other dream. Did, did the image of a man or the flower or the color red feel that? Do they feel the same way? Because guess what? The messages are not always, the messages are not the same. And you need to know if this, the descriptions you've applied or, or, or associate with with each image mean the same in two different dreams or always stand or I'll always feel the same way to you because you'll find that they don't and that is because the message maybe is different the message may be related to something that you've been wondering about, worrying about. Maybe you've had an altercation, or maybe you, you're not sure about somebody or a situation or a decision to make. Um, <clears throat> you are, maybe have been upset about something. So these symbols, the meanings of these symbols and images and uh, whatever appears in your dream may change and will change. But for me, it is, it is, uh, this exercise is to allow you to get accustomed to sitting with images and looking at them and whatever emotion or image or sensation comes to you, you need to remember that that is what is evoked in you every time when you see these symbols, colors, descriptions, whatever, images, when, uh, see if that is, uh, see if these emotions and feelings and images, when they appear, if they feel the same way all the time. And you will notice that from dream to dream, they will not, they may not, and they could as well. So there's always that reference point. And so th this step is more about getting used to where you see things, even in real life, in a, real, on, on a regular day. 
picking up the energy of whatever you see or feel in your daily life as well as in your dream because what this step is going to show you is that there, there's a story there's a message and you, you can you need to just connect the dots with all the images and try and relate the feelings and the images and the symbols in the dream to what may have happened to you of, of, of the of what may have happened to you in the past or had made you feel the same way in the past in the present and also in the future there have been instances where I've analyzed and interpreted dreams and I've always tell my clients to read them over and over again read them the first day give it a break go back to it another day and keep reading because sometimes it may not even make sense to you because you're not aware that certain things that happen during your day have manifested in your dream or the dream is giving you answers to, to questions you've had in your daily life and I've had people come back months later and say oh my goodness this is what you said in that dream and I didn't understand what you meant but it just happened so your, 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 your dreams can foretell the future, can, can give you insight to something that is going to happen or, or a decision you may have to make or a feeling you had about somebody may come through or, or, or put you on guard or, or protect or prevent you. And, and I feel that sometimes this is how those have passed over or, or your spirit guides or your angels or your God, whatever you believe in, send messages to you. So your dreams to you, do you dreams? You must know your dreams are very important. Even if you don't remember them, I, I, I don't, I don't have a problem that people say you, you, you remember every dream. I don't know about that. I don't remember all of my dreams. I don't remember all of them. Even if I dream, every, apparently you dream every day, but you, we don't remember them every day or in such detail. So when anything comes to, just take that bit that you remember and do these steps. So now what happens in this step is what are, what sort of messages are coming through to you? So I keep using the same symbols right through just because those are the symbols or images that came through me as I was trying to uh, put together this exercise. So if the color red came through and you felt that the color red meant joy or danger or take heed or what in your life have you been questioning or feeling and sitting or wondering about for this color to come through and say be careful so now you have to go further in your interpretation of each symbol does the, the, the red mean be careful does the red mean red color means stop don't do that um, does it mean yes you're right that's a dangerous thing to do or dangerous place to go or that's a dangerous thing to to do that is how you have to look at each description and symbol that you have you have listed and you have put your descriptions next to because now they all should form some sort of big picture one big picture one big message or several different messages so the red meant, let's, let's, let's just say, I don't want to make it sound so dark because dreams are not just about darkness. They, they, they bring so much light. They, they, they give you guidance. They give you upliftment. They, they are, encourage you. They inspire you. Um, it's about your intuition telling you things that you are, you are overlooking and not seeing. So the, so the red could, have, could say, that, and so I've talked about let's say the man. There's a, I talked about a flower and I talked about color red. So what do these three things mean in your dream? So for so, so what is the message? So maybe the message is about pay attention to them to to the, to the gentleman to the men in your life. Um, they, they 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 love you. Let's say the flower means love to you. They love you. So if you've been ignoring them. Um, Pay more attention to them, reciprocate the love. So don't just stay with the the, the, the symbols and descriptions you've, you've you've written. Expand on them, and you expand on them by how you feel when you look at all the things you've written 
about this dream all the descriptions you put on all the symbols what do all these symbols mean together let's tell the story okay so in there you thought it was a bright sunny day there was a flower the color red and there was this person you couldn't figure out if you knew this person or you didn't know this person maybe this time you feel i knew that know this person but i don't know them in real life so maybe there's going to be somebody who's going to come through a male figure is going to come through in your life that person is going to help you in some shape or form okay and we say that because maybe you said the flower means health you know or the color red, red means um you know stop wait for for this person to come through and the flower means well when the person comes through it means help fruition answers okay this may not seem easy for some of you this may not seem this may seem easy for some of you but this is the these are the intricacies of our dream interpretation and analysis and i always make this distinction because i feel an analysis is what we just did we we analyze each we we tore each we 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 we, we broke down every little detail in your dream to to the to the to the smallest the minutest uh form and then when you put them together you is then you interpret the message and that is what this step is about what is the message let's put everything together and let's see how we feel and what message we feel is coming through based on something we uh, we experienced in the past in the present or we are going to experience so i hope this gives you an idea of the process of interpreting and analyzing your dream and i believe everybody can do it but not everybody wants to do it and that's why they have people like me out there to do it for you but this is just shows you the intricacies and some are very simple some are more intricate and a little difficult to decipher but we are all capable of analyzing and interpreting our dreams i hope this helps you i bid you well have an absolutely fabulous day